Hey everyone, welcome to the Digging Winning Streaming Guide. In this video, I will show you how you can create your gaming scene in OBS so you can stream on any platform that you like. In case you didn't know, we created a free Digging Winning Streaming Package to make your stream look good. So be sure to download that and be sure to download OBS. And once you have, let's get started. DW. So once you've opened OBS, this is the first thing you are going to see. But before we start creating a scene, please go into settings, go into video, and set your base canvas resolution to 1920 by 1080 p You're never going to stream at a higher rate. You may stream at a lower uh, resolution and then you can always change it here and output uh, scaled resolution and it won't take that much power to do so. So I put it to 1920 by 1080p. The best thing is when there doesn't need to be any scaling and that's why I want to set my base resolution to 1920 by 1080p. So once you've done that, we're gonna create a scene. There is already a scene created. You're just gonna have to rename it. I renamed it to Gaming Nest. And once you have, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a webcam. I'm gonna call it a webcam. There we go, click on OK, and then we are gonna select the webcam that you wanna use. In this case, I'm gonna use my DSLR with the capture card. And I'm just gonna click on OK. Now we wanna create a gaming scene, so it's not gonna be full screen. So what you wanna do is you wanna resize it. Now a lot of people resize by holding shift. Now what's the holding shift gonna do? Is it's gonna stretch your source. You don't want this to happen. So don't hold shift and just scale it this way. Now I'm gonna make it this big, I think. I think it's gonna be nice for a video game. Maybe you wanna go a little bit smaller. There we go. Then the next thing we're going to add is we're gonna add the overlay. And when you download the Digging Winning Streaming Package, you've got two options. You've got the option for a static one, and then you want to add a image. And if you want to use the animated one like me, uh, you're going to choose for the media source. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call it the animated cam overlay. I want to add that if you are not having a very strong PC, I always recommend to go for a static image instead so you lower your CPU usage and you will have better frames in game. There we go. And now you're going to want to select this file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to face cam overlay, going to click on animated one. And then you want to make sure that you click on loop so it continues playing and doesn't stop once the video has ended. So the animation keeps going. Click on loop and there you go. We've got your overlay. Now we're going to scale this. Like I say, I think this is going to be a nice size. And then we're going to scale our webcam to fit into this overlay. Now this can always be tricky sometimes, but I think like this is going to look good. Maybe it's going to go slightly smaller. It fits. There we go. And now what I always do is I always lock the preview to prevent any accidental edits. But we got to add some more stuff. Because as you can see here, we've got place for text. We've got place for uh, the most recent donator. And we've got text for the most recent follower. So that's what we're going to add. We click on the plus sign. And we're going to go to text. We're going to add a source. We're going to start with the donator. Most recent donation. Click on OK. We're gonna select the font. I always use the Acumen Pro for all the stuff that we do. Click on semi bold. Now, when you want to resize the text because it doesn't fit in the overlay, for example, always resize it by changing the font size. And this prevents a uh, loss in quality. So we're gonna click on OK. And then we're gonna click on read from file. And now you don't want to, you know, you don't want to change the recent follower and recent donation manually. You want this to go automatic so you can focus on your gameplay and engaging with your audience. So you're gonna download stream labels from Streamlabs. I will add the link in the description as well as for the overlay, as well as for the download link for OBS Studio. So you can find everything that we're gonna use in this video in the description down below. Now, once you've downloaded that, it's gonna uh, create text files and we are gonna be able to read those text files in OBS. So we're gonna click here on read from file and we're gonna select that text file. So here we go, we go into documents for me and we go into Twitch alert, I called it. And we're gonna go to the most recent donator. There we go, click on open. And now it just reads anything that's in that file. And this file gets automatically updated by that application uh, called stream labels. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to position this in here in the overlay. As you can see right now, it's a little bit too big. So we're gonna have to scale it down. Gonna check what's gonna look good for you because it's gonna depend on your canvas size as well. So once you've positioned it, you wanna make sure that it doesn't mess up the overlay when the name is super, super long. So what you're gonna want to do is you wanna go scroll down here. You wanna go into the custom 
uh, text extents and you're gonna change here the width. And I think looking at this, it's gonna be like 150. There we go, we change the height. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit less than 150. There we go, 142. And we click on OK. Now we also have to add the most recent follower. Then we do the same thing. So you're just gonna have to play around. This is completely up to you. Go to the most recent follower, click on OK. Once again, it reads the name. Now the thing is, now we do, if the name gets too long, it's gonna go there. It's gonna go be past the overlay. But we want it to outline to the other one, to the other side. <laughs> so what you're gonna want to do is you wanna go into the alignment and you wanna change this to the right side and then you fixed it. And also here you wanna use the custom text extends and it will be the same sizes. So it should be, what was it, 142 and the height was 135. And there you go. As you can see, now it moves it like I mentioned. So there we go. And then we lock the preview so we don't have any accidental edits. Now, why did we want to create a gaming nest? Now, here is the beauty. We're gonna add a gaming scene. And this is where the gameplay is gonna take place. So the first thing we're gonna do is we, we're gonna add the scene that we just created, the gaming nest. That's what we add. And the beauty is that let's say you play a game where you want to have your cam on the left side, you can move it here. If let's say you want to play a game that's on the right side, you can easily move it by just moving one source, which is the scene, instead of having to move all these sources in the gaming nest. So this is really the, the benefit. Now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to add the game. All right, to just boot it up Rocket League to show you how you can do it. So you want to add another source, click on the plus sign, you go into Game Capture. You can also use Display Capture, but Game Capture will give you the best performance. So we're going to click on Game Capture and click on OK. Now you've got multiple options. For me, the most reliable has always been to capture the specific window. The thing though is, is that now if you're going to play Rocket League, you're going to select Rocket League as window. But let's say next time you want to stream uh, Fortnite, you're gonna have to change this um, this window. So if you don't want to do that, you can keep it on capture any full screen application. But if you are experiencing issues with it not showing up, you may want to change it to capture the specific window. So that's what we are gonna use: capture the specific window, and then we select Rocket League, and then we click on OK, and boom, there you go. Now what you see is that it's completely zoomed in and this is because I'm playing Rocket League actually at uh, 4K. If you wanna change this, you can easily do so by right clicking, going to transform and you can go to fit to screen. What you can do as well is you can hit Ctrl F and boom, there you go, like magic, it fits in the window. Now we gotta move the game capture below the gaming nest so we can see our cam. And there you go. You are basically good to go to stream your video game. If you want to know how you can set up your Twitch alerts, be sure to check out the Dig and Winning Streaming Guide. And in the next video, I will show you how you can set up your intermission screen. We're gonna go through the settings and much more. So if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the future videos. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video.